Hello and welcome to Inside IT from the technology experts at Intel's own IT department. In this podcast, we go to the RSA conference to talk about security by design. The annual RSA security conference was held in San Francisco recently. It was a chance to get together with top officials from a couple of large enterprise security organizations and talk about security by design. The idea of incorporating security measures throughout the entire development and manufacturing process. The conversation was with Roland Cloutier from the Chief Security Officer of ADP Corporation and Malcolm Harkins. I'm Intel's Chief Security and Privacy Officer. Intel IT Industry Engagement Manager Elaine Rainbolt spoke to the two at RSA and started by asking them to describe security by design in their organizations. Security by design for us starts for the base of foundation for us in, in our people, in our operations, and in, in the design and validation processes in our products. And we have to link all of those things in order for us to have an adequate design for security in our operations, but ultimately in our products. And without that, then we don't have security built into our enterprise, which also then would make it difficult for us to build security into our products to then protect the end customers of computing. You know, we take a, a pretty broad brush to security by design because, like Malcolm, we have security, risk, and privacy, and a lot of things we have to look at. So we look at security by design, privacy by design, and it really gets down to business process innovation and assurance because we're not just protecting specific components or data. We're protecting an entire chain of events that happens to be the product line. So from research and development to manufacturing to delivery to the client to support and sales and how we interact with our people uh, in our call centers, all of that is part of our security by design concept. And it links together a lot of different areas within our cyber risk and privacy programs to ensure that we have the right architecture, the right standards, the right checks along the way and, and the right controls within the businesses themselves to create that holistic DNA across ADP to show to our clients that we truly understand the, the criticality of the information that they entrust in us. So curious, question to both of you, how do you implement security by design? I mean, if you're a company that hasn't really been considering how to do this, how do you get started? For us, at the first level, I think, one, you have to have some level of awareness getting to what are the critical items and, and things that you need to focus on. And I'm a big believer in culture is the strongest form of control. So you actually have to develop that cultural instinct and the training and awareness and understand what I think, again, the mission of your organization is. Look at the focus of that and its criticality. And I think once you can do that, you've got a foundation now where you can start looking at now what tools, technology, and validation procedures and control operations do you need to have in place so that you've got the level of assurance necessary. So it is gets back to that age-old thing of people, process, and technology. The questions that we've always posed back to our organization is, why should this be in security? Because we don't believe it should, and it isn't, and that's the beautiful thing. It is part of product quality. When we look at security by design, it's no different than proper coding or, you know, uh, appropriate service development or, or any of the other things that you have to do to have a good quality product. We want it to be part of that product measurement, that quality measurement, part of the CQI process, and part of their ISO process as well as they take new services and new products to market. Because if they don't measure it in the same way that they build their products, then it just becomes another security wants you to do something different and, it, and they don't own it. So we look at putting accountability, responsibility, and ownership back in the hands of the people who are designing and building delivering that product set. So it sounds like it's almost like putting a blueprint in place in advance that says this is where security is going to interject into the product or is it all along the way? If you have the right standards and the right instruction sets and you provide the right level of services along the way, you simply become a part of their development team. So, you know, we're a part of the manufacturing process, if you will, rather than being an oversight on the process independently. And ours is very similar. Again, there's a product life cycle, so to speak, or a development life cycle. And, and what you want to do is create the 
hooks into those normal processes and then have the business ownership for the validation and meeting some of those things. Now, the other thing that, again, it's a little bit different for us. The one thing that I also think is pretty critical in some of the security by design and privacy by design is, again, that measurements, the accountability, and in some cases, the right governance model for decision making. Because in some cases, you're always going to have issues and trade-offs, and you're going to have incident response process. So the extension of the privacy by design and security by design is also the incident processes. So Roland, in your development life cycle, is privacy part of that? Yeah, privacy is absolutely a core competency to how we look at product development and product delivery. Perhaps one of the hardest areas for us to find the right people in Privacy engineers, so people that do privacy by design within the product sets, are extremely difficult to find. But we have made it a part of our go-to-market. So on every major new platform, there is a privacy engineer that is embedded as part of the development team. And that's a standard we've created over the last couple of years. One other thing that I think it's important to note when you, again, extend what I'll say the supply chain of either operations or development and engineering is the interdependencies we all have. Roland is a software as a service provider. Part of my design or whenever we might use a software as a service or design for security and design for privacy also becomes a level of understanding what that SaaS provider is doing and how they're doing it so that I have some view that, again, whether it be payroll or some HR process or something else is being done because I'm ultimately accountable for it. So here at RSA, have you heard anybody else talking about security by design or privacy by design in such a way that gave you some new or unique insights? Or do you feel like it's recognized here in in the industry that this is a a must-do? I do think you're starting to see more and more people talking about security being built in. And they're wanting security built into the hardware, the software, the services they're getting. I think that is a core base component. I think what we've got to continue to do is weed out the mistakes that get made in the design and development process. And we've got to continue to move further and further upstream by the engineering tools that are used for software engineering or hardware engineering. They've got to start building in the capability to kind of guide the path of the developer to reduce the mistakes. And I think the security industry for many ways has approached it more as a do code checking afterwards or let me, because there will be vulnerabilities in code or whatever, let me make up for it on the back end by putting other control mechanisms. And I do think we need to continue to move upstream. You know, what I've seen as encouraging here at the conference is actually out on the product floor because traditionally we've had to jam things in to make them work for the developers for the services we want to provide them or we would like them to do on behalf of secure products. But what you're seeing is the integration of an an automation of existing tool sets and products into code design platforms, into bug tracking infrastructure, into GRC platforms, into workflow. So it becomes a part of the DNA of the development platform itself. And that's good news, right? Because any time that you can simply interject security by design or privacy by design as a component of how they do normal work, it'll just get done. It'll become a way of doing business. That does it for this podcast, a look at security by design from the floor of the RSA conference. If you'd like to know more about security or anything IT related, go to www.intel.com slash IT. While you're there, you can sign up for the Intel IT Center, for regular updates on IT topics, third-party research, IT-focused events, and more. For Inside IT, I'm Paul Lancor.